Hello FlushTube, it's Natalie here. Love it, live it, make it yours on FlushTube and Instagram. I'm just laughing to myself because I started off this video and it turned into, first I was just rambling. So I've been working long hours at my new job, which I love, but I'm just so tired. I don't know what day of the week it is. And I've got onto a ramble about that. And then I got onto a rant about recycling. <laughs> And nobody needs to see that. So welcome to my video. I have started to re-record. Um, <laughs> and welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, I am Love It, Live It, Make It Yours on FlossTube and Instagram. And I am a craftaholic. This video is specifically for FlossTube. I also do um, pre-loved videos for charity shop hauls. Haven't, I've only done one because I wasn't feeling great and I haven't been... Um, recording as much as I was um but this is not really a floss tube this is more of a showcase of my new advent calendar um but before I get on to that I just wanted to say thank you to all my amazing subscribers I've just hit over 300 um, followers on Instagram thank you so much it means so much to me um and my Instagram is a mixed bag because I don't like to have lots of different accounts so it's got all my loves on there everything from crafting to charity shop halls to board gaming and um yeah it's such a mixed bag but my floss tube channel is for cross stitching you will see other little bits of crafts and things on there and some pre-loved hauls um so thank you so much everybody it really means a lot to me so i'm just gonna try and get into it without forgetting what a day is and having a rant um I was looking for a cross stitch advent calendar. So I usually buy um, one from KLT Charting, um, but by the time I had got round to being able to purchase it, they were sold out. Um, and I said to my husband about it, and he said, well, just find find one you like and let me know and I'll get it for you. I brought him a um, the Brew Company coffee one. It's sachets of coffee that you brew in the packet and it makes a nice coffee, lots of different flavours, and it's eco-friendly, so the, everything um, can be recycled, which I love. Um, let's not go down that road, that's why I had to start re-recording, because I got into a rant about recycling. <laughs> um, but yeah, he loved that. And so I went looking on Etsy, and I could only find ones that were needle minders, and the little sort of showcase of it, of the needle minders, were ones that weren't to my taste. Um, so I, I sort of didn't want to um, purchase that one. There were other um, cross stitchy ones, but I didn't sort of like the, like the showcase or the preview. I wasn't sort of so sure. And then there was one that was just from Sarah Elizabeth Stitches, um, and the picture was just very sort of um, Christmassy, generic sort of Christmas background, uh, pre order christmas advent calendar the full one had been sold out so i was looking by sort of mid-november and it had already been sold out so the 24 days of christmas had been sold out she had a 12 days of christmas left and um i showed my husband and um he said um you know just just go for it you don't don't know to try um i didn't look at her etsy shop because i wanted it to all be a surprise and i'm really really um pleased that I didn't I'm really really pleased because it's been really exciting um one of the things that I loved um and I won't get into a rant about it is that it's very eco-friendly so she's wrapped it in a box that can be recycled um she's wrapped it in um lots of lovely craft brown brown paper and um, the other reason why I've had to redo my videos because I was holding this up the wrong way around and it had my address on it and I was waving it around there's no way I was going to edit that out um <laughs> so lots of lovely craft paper she's used minimal tape lots of lovely paper stickers um so all these lovely things that could be recycled I I really hate using plastic based wrapping paper and sellotape um and we don't we don't use it at home um if if we can help it we'll by recyclable tape and paper um so even this is from the outside of the box i kept it to show you on my video i just love that. and as i go through the gifts you'll see that um loads of them could um loads of their packaging could be recycled um which i love 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 without going on a rant so i'm literally just gonna pick up a gift and uh, i'm gonna try and do them numerically but i was so excited that i've left them in the box so i have to have a little rummage the best thing was there were so many extras in there i counted like 
uh, six extras plus a crocheted stocking that had a treat in it and she makes uh, the items that are in the box as well. She's a paper crafter, looks like she's a bit of a crocheter as well and a cross stitcher. Um, I've just started watching her floss tube videos, I'm just catching up on them. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's really, really exciting. Um, so I just, I'll just get stuck into it. Um, oh, I think I, what I was going to say was I was opening one every other day. Um, I worked it out that I could start opening on the second and finish opening on Christmas Eve, but there were so many extras in the box that from Tuesday I was able to start opening one gift a day and I've really not been disappointed. So I'll start rummaging and we'll, um, we'll get we'll get stuck in it she also um did a sow she's done a sow a christmas one um because i was just so impressed after i started opening my box my boxes i found her sow and i wanted a little christmas needle minder to go with it and i wanted to really start stitching the sow this week but we're on the 20th of december today there's no way um i'm gonna be able to stitch it between now and christmas because everyone knows i'm slow i'm doing 10 hour shifts this week I'm working Christmas Day, I've got Boxing Day and the day after. So I might get a little bit of stitching in then, but my um, husband's working Christmas Day as well. So our Christmas Day is Boxing Day and my sister's working both and we're gonna try, I'm gonna try and be around to sort of pick her up from work and things. So I don't think there's gonna be much time for starting the sale, but it is beautiful, I love it. And I really, really um, love the needle minder she sent me as well. So without further ado, I'm actually gonna get into it now without hopefully making any mistakes. Um, so I'm just gonna try and find, oh, one of the other things I, really loved is that she made um sorry it's on the floor that's so i've got to bend over to get it she made a little um christmas um card as well that has a nice little message on the back um it's really lovely handmade which i appreciate um it also came with i'm just going to hoik it off the tree this really beautiful crocheted stocking and it's so soft and she's used kind of what i call like natural looking wool on the top so it's got like flecks of different color in it and it's got a little um, chocolate gnome in it, um, which I love as well. But I, I really love collecting new Christmas decorations every year. And that is now a firm, um, a firm favourite. And I don't know why my husband hasn't eaten that little um, chocolate gnome yet. I, I have no idea. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll just... This will be a bit of a mess because I've got to find the gifts to show them to you. But we'll get there we will get there in the end um it also came with a little pouch handmade pouch um with a gift tag in it with a christmas jumper on it had a discount code which is what i used to buy her sal and um needle minder use that code which is fab and here we are so um she also printed off little clues and her own little like stickers little santa hats on say day one um, so day one, it says, it might be small, but it is mighty. This may come in handy later on. Perforated paper, and it's Mill Hill perforated paper in the craft colour. Um, if it was just the perforated paper on its own for day one, without the clue, I'd have... I'd have been a bit miffed because I I'd have been like, oh I could, you know, I've got perforated paper at home. As soon as I read that clue and knew it was coming to something, I was so excited. Um, so that was day one. Day two was in a little hand stamped envelope, and it was some beautiful um I hope you can see them, some beautiful pearly um beads and a beading needle there you go so i was excited about that and there was a clue but i think I'm, oh no i've still got it i thought i'd misplaced it size nine cream seed beads to finish off a winter project so lovely lovely little clues lovely which i, I me and my husband write clues on our christmas presents every year um so i just that's why i love it even more and day three came in this beautiful handmade cracker box. Again, you know, I, 
it's tissue, um, it's paper string in a paper box with a paper sticker, or can be recycled. Um, skeins of DMC thread, I just love this colour palette. Imagine all the gorgeous things you could stitch. And it is a really nice, Christmassy, natural colour palette. Just natural Christmas vibe. Beautiful. So we got a B5200, 413-09-741-3831-3768-3756 and a 3024. And they were all in that lovely little cracker box, which I just loved. I can't get them back in there and I've kept the cracker as is. So that was day three. Oh, I don't know why I've put that there. I'm making a pile of ones I've already shown you and ones I haven't. And I've just put it on top of the pile that I've shown you. Day four was in a lovely handmade, handmade envelope with a sticker. And it came with some lovely red felt. A needle that is also in felt. It says red felt is the perfect back to a finished project. Lovely, lovely red felt in that Christmas red. So that was nice. So I need to find day five, which I'm sure is here somewhere. I should have laid them out ready to ready to go. Let me see if I can find Ah, it's here. Day five was this really, really cute needle minder of a little snowman on a Christmas jumper. And it's made really nicely. I'm not going to get that very clear on this rubbish camera. But it's really lovely. And it's got a nice big button at the back. Anyone who knows me knows I love buttons. And the clue said... You can never have too many. The image was drawn by me and may provide a clue of what's to come. Lovely. So that was day five. Um, day six was in this lovely handmade little box that had washi tape over it. And it's the clue said, this will make the perfect hanger for an ornament. And it came with some really beautiful baker's twine and a sparkly, sparkly peg. So that's, oh, I'm holding it over me, but that's really nice. I loved that in its little box. Um, so that was day six. Day seven came in this handmade envelope. Little stockings at the top, love that. And it was... The not so ugly jumper snowman um, pattern for all of the lovely things that um, were in my box, and I was so I'm so excited about this, so excited, and I'm gonna hang it on that twine, but I'm gonna use the peg, the silver peg as well, so it's like it's on a washing line. Oh, I'm so excited. I just love the look of it. She is one talented lady. One talented lady to put all this, to, just put all this together. So that was day seven. And then I'm just going to try and find day eight. Day eight was an ought catcher. Ought odd random thread. As you stitch along, you'll need somewhere to catch those oughts. Handmade by me with love. She's one talented lady. And it's a really nice... And it's not Christmassy, so you can use it all year round. Um, stars and spots with lovely pink contrasting buttons. Lovely, lovely. What a talented lady. Love it. So that was day eight. So we're going on to day nine. Day nine was in here. This lovely handmade envelope. And this one I can't really show you because it is a pattern. It says, day nine, pattern two, snowflake. Our friends at the Spinnyfield Stitchery have provided one of their latest designs in a beautiful wintry colour color palette. So you can go and check it out. And the colour palette is... DMC B5200, DMC 3756, 
DMC3743 and DMC3042. That's the colour palette on there. And it's a really lovely um, snowflake pattern by the Spinnyfield Stitchery. So check them out. Um, I'm going to. I haven't yet. Because <laughs> I haven't thought about it. But now I've recommended it to you guys. Obviously, I'm going to go and check it out. And because, um, obviously, it's in a little handmade envelope and it was in a beautiful box, which I can show you in a minute, um, it's been protected, which is nice. So that was day nine. Um, and day 10 was one I opened today, I think. And what I loved about day 10 was it has got a nice band of green. Um, and the tag was tucked in like this with the day 10 um, on it and the gingerbread man. And it, at the back, because it's got two strips of tape, I thought it looked like a little backpack. I know it sounds really silly, but just like a little, you know, little traditional backpack. And um, I got so excited when I opened this because it felt, it felt bulky. So I was sort of screeching at my husband a bit about it. I was like, oh my goodness, it's going to be something so good. Um, and it says day 10 jingle bell kit a fun project for you to stitch up it will make a cute little gift bag for a special little gift I couldn't decide on a colour palette my gift to you is two and so I thought that maybe she had sent one kit two patterns um, and that is the pattern so they are it's a pattern of a bell and they say jingle underneath um, and two different colour palettes and one is the Christmas variegated dmc and one is a beautiful which I, i'll stitch them both up i will but i prefer this one because it's a really beautiful um pattern and it uses some of the threads of the full skeins because obviously for the little ornament you don't need full skeins but she's given us full skeins um so some of the leftover threads from that and she has added the extra ones on a handmade um bobbin which i I know I keep saying it, but I love, I also love, and she's put the colour underneath. So I thought it might just be one, two, two patterns, one kit, but in the kit she's provided you enough to make the whole lot, and including another needle. So I've got a needle on the felt there, in another, um, oh I nearly dropped it, on another um, handmade envelope. She's put her little one of her little clue strips at the back and it says it's 14 count soluble ada, 30 count Murano mushroom, petite point, white felt, size 26 needle and two canvas bags. So you get to stitch everything. It's absolutely amazing. So there's the um, soluble canvas, which I've used before. There's the felt. The beautiful fabric that I've never used before, so I can't wait. And I guess one side's polka dot, so I don't know if you can see that white polka dot. Oh, you can. And one side's plain, so you could stitch one on one, one on the other. And two mini, um, two mini drawstring bags. I can't wait to make these and hang them on the tree next year. I can't wait. Such a lovely gift. So that's what I opened today, and I was just doing, doing my absolute nut about it when I opened them I really really was I just think that's so lovely I'll put that back in the packaging very very nicely because I want to keep it all super safe and as I say I have been opening the extras in between so I will show you what they are so um, one of the extras that I opened was this and I've got the clue somewhere might be here might be this one um because the extras even come with clues extra snowflake a cute crochet snowflake for you to hang on your Christmas tree made with love from me to you what a just crazy talented lady and it's in super soft I wouldn't be surprised if it's cotton I'm not a crochet ex I'm not um, a wool expert Oh, but it's just so beautiful and I loved it so much and it went straight on my tree. Special, special, special. So I've been so sad that I haven't been able to go to craft fairs um, this year. My 
lovely friend, um, Charlotte, um, Clue High Heeled Stitcher. Um, she's one of the bestest friends in the world ever. She um, helps me raise money for meningitis now. And we go and um, we do craft fairs and we sell um, orange handmade items. I'm just putting my snowflake back on my tree, deciding where it was before and where I want it now. Beautiful. There we go, beautiful. Um, we sell handmade and um, crafted items to raise money for meningitis now. Christmas is usually our busiest time of year, we usually slammed. Um, but we haven't, obviously, COVID-19, we have not been able to go to any um, Christmas fairs. But every Christmas fair I go to, I buy a handmade Christmas decoration to go on my tree from the fair. Um, this year, just quickly while I'm at it, I did buy this and she... Um, I'm sure it's hands buttons actually. I'm sure she's hands buttons on Etsy, but I will put a link in the description below. Um, I brought this off of her. She is, it says Hope 2020. She's such a lovely lady. She's one of my old parents from my old job. Um, but because I follow her her page, I brought that and I thought well, that'll be my handmade Christmas decoration this year because I haven't been able to get to the craft fairs. But then I got two in my um, advent box. And they're just little extras they weren't even part of the um weren't even part of the countdown and i love them so much i really genuinely love them anyway check out hands buttons one of the extras in a lovely little paper bag with sealed with washi tape was a little clue extra bobbins and thread drops now that you have some skeins of thread i thought you might appreciate some cute bobbins and thread drops to use with your christmas stitching and she's made really lovely Christmas thread drops out of some sturdy um, cardstock. Really, really nice. Try not to hold everything up in front of my face. <laughs> so they're really nice with a little Christmas tree punched out. Really lovely. I love them so much. So they'll be good. And... Um, from similar cardstock she has made bobbins but i'm wondering i'm gonna have to ask her if it's a die for a die cutting machine because it's got a perfect um uniform cut i mean they're perfect they're all sort of bluey on one side and really colorful on the other um and they're made of thick sort of sturdy cardstock so don't pull and they'll last you last you a long time um but yeah they've got the little cutting them to um put your thread through so i wonder if she's got a die and they're so uniform there's they're just lovely 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 i don't i'm sure that they haven't been cut by hand because that would be crazy insane the amount of um boxes she must have done and then my la um, my last extra to show because i haven't opened the rest is this one in another lovely little envelope and it came with two beautiful little charms. One of them's double-sided and it's a little snowman in a stocking. These are going to be teeny tiny, so I do not know if you'll see them. I'll hold them up to the camera, but my camera does not focus very well. See? But they're lovely. Lovely. And the other one was um, bells with holly. really nice really nice and they're heavy ones they're metal ones which is even better because i don't really like using the plastic ones so that's nice um and a couple of i'm down to the box now and these are ones that i haven't opened but a couple of the other um extras in there were a big um beautiful felt snowflake so you could use that on any project really big felt snowflake and a cute little googly eyed felt penguin so cute um and she punched out probably from the bobbins or something um and other decorations that she stuck on the presents loads of lovely little christmas trees so you could definitely use those on your project all reusable um so i've got i don't want to look too much i've got one more extra to open i've got a little box of day 12 to open 
a um, small um, drawstring hand stamped bag that will also go on my Christmas tree. I've just thought of day 11 to open. A thick um, extra to open. And an extra day 12 to open. So that's all still to open. And just while my box is mostly empty, because I'm going to put all the gifts back in there, it came presented in a lovely recyclable, recyclable box with her Sarah Elizabeth Stitches sticker on. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. And that's what led me to order her sal. And I also ordered in another little... Um, box that can be recycled came um this cheeky chappy of a gingerbread needle minder i love his little face I love his little face his little santa hat and again nice big button on the back very strong magnets glued really really well nice design on her little cards that she puts them on as well so i really love that and a little extra that came with that is um, a, a little badge that says you are so awesome. Yes, yes, yes. A little rainbow in the background and a heart. I just love rainbows and hearts and I love that badge. I'm just going to see if you can see it a bit better because my camera's so rubbish. And it was quite personalised as well on the on the note. It, um, she always puts sort of puts personal details into it. It's a little um, small personalised note on the receipt, which is nice, really nice. And I'm so excited about that. And that's yeah, that's my showcase really. Um, so yeah, Sarah Elizabeth stitches on Floss Tube and on Etsy and on Instagram. Um, thank you, Sarah, for um, giving me something to look forward to and putting lots of lovely extra things in there. Um, it makes us as customers feel that you appreciate us. And we do, I do, I know I do. And I've seen other people do as well through sharing it. I just have, um, so thank you so much. I have one more showcase that I would like to do. And me and um, one of my fabulous best friends, Charlotte, clue high heeled stitcher were planning on having a christmas on saturday yesterday and the sad news that we are now in tier four which meant we couldn't we knew we were going back into tier three um and that was going to change a lot of things and now we're in tier four so we wouldn't have been able to have seen each other we got a sneaky sneaky dinner date um here at my house in and did a present swap and she will probably show them on her floss tube video so please please check them out well, i'm going to really quickly show you now she made me this absolutely beautiful cross stitch um and i know i want to say this is called catrio i'm sure it is by klt charting on klt charting's fabric as well and um there's she's used the new sparkly etoile threads to stitch the cat in the green cat in the blue and then this cat is the most special one because she stitched him to look like my cat that i lost last year bless him i miss him so much it did make me cry when i opened this zelda so he looks like my zelda he had a white bib a little black patch on his chin and she's sti actually stitched some white up here because he did have a bit of a white smudge up his face I'm gonna get loads of glare that's better but thank you charlotte it is beautiful but please check out her floss tube because she will she will showcase it no doubt and she also made this for my husband he's just gonna get the glare from the christmas tree <laughs> christmas tree reflection um so you're not gonna ah that's better it's a bit better and this is D, &D inspired i am a um long-suffering wife to D&D &D. not that he um leaves me to play D&D &D, but I have to go with him <laughs> I do love it um 
he found this amazing way of playing D&D online since Covid, not with our usual crowd, who I miss so much. If any of you watch this, which I doubt, I miss you guys more than you know. And our crazy, crazy travels on in D&D in D &D land. Um, but now I play it online, lucky me! He's worth it, he does loads of crazy crap for me. <laughs> Um, yes, it's D&D &D inspired and I know he loves it. Charlotte, you are the best. Thank you so much. They are going to be treasures forever. Um, so yeah, that is that for this little video. As I say, it's not really a floss tube, it's more of a showcase. Um, I probably won't be recording now, um, apart from the one that I want to make that will go out Boxing Day or thereabouts. Um, so I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. Um, if you don't celebrate, I hope you're well and I hope you're staying safe and I hope everyone's well and staying safe. Um, but have a fabulous, fabulous time and I will see you again very soon. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye.